Shalom, friends. Shalom, Miss Pasha. Shalom, Nemba. Shalom, Ishe. More. Shalom, people of God. It's my pleasure this morning to thank you all so much for affording me this opportunity of sharing again and encouraging each other uh, about the work of God which has put in our hands. I want to thank you so much for the great work that you are doing. Uh, you are doing a great job and the my ministry, our ministry, the Ne Aronema ministry, is learning a lot from you guys. By the way, my name is Cohen Hamandisha. I'm the founder of the Ne Aronema Ministries here in Zimbabwe, in Africa. It's a pleasure, really, really a pleasure to be connected with you. I want to thank you so much. Now, before I proceed, uh, I would like to just a word, word, a, a word or two uh, to tell you the position of the Lemba in the Jewish community. When it was first, when the Lemba were first were discovered, the percentage, the Cohen percentage in them was 26 percent. It was even at that time was higher than in any Jewish community. I want to uh, also emphasize on that. After that was discovered, they, they said, no, it cannot be happening. This cannot be true. Let's redo it. They carried it another test and it uh, registered a 45%. Each time they do it, the percentage climbs higher. It goes up. Not even a single house of the 12 houses of Israel can correctly and accurately pinpoint their house. No one knows today which house of Israel it is. Only the Lema can accurately pinpoint that the children of Levi, that they are the children of Aaron. It's, a, and it's, a, it's amazing. And it's, it's something which cannot be disputed. But it's, it's right there. Now, I want to thank uh, Boom Church for being uh, connected to you. I want to thank you so much, my brothers. The Lemba who are in Home Church, the Lembas who are in America, all those people. I want to encourage you. I want to exhort you. I want to tell you to be very, very vigilant in prayer. We can only do these things because our only uh, uh, defense is the God of Israel. Yes, he knows us and he knows who we are. People can dispute, let's not argue with them. Let's just pray so that we can do, we can perform his duty, we can perform his work the way he wants. Let's not really focus on that. And let's not be proud that uh, we, we are the member, we are the priests of Israel. No. Rather, let's be humbled by that realization only. Let, it, let us be humbled so that we can work well in his uh, calling. Thank you so much, my brother. Ishe. Thank you very much, Ishe. Moren. Thank you very much, my brothers in Kumche. Uh, I want to pray for you, Ishe Moren. I bear the much name of Yeshua, I pray. This evening, here in Zimbabwe, I pray for Ishe Moren. I pray for his family. I pray for his uh, ministry. Father, thank you so much for picking him up for this great work, for the great task. He is really, he has a very, very, uh, uh, I pray to your call of going into the four corners of the world and preach the gospel. This is exactly what he's working, what he's doing. We have to thank you so much for being with him. Be like Joshua. Who said, as far as me and my family are concerned, we are going to worship Adonai. May you take that chance, Ishimore. Father, I ask for oneness in Bong Church. Father, in the name of Yeshua, can you meet the needs of this great church, of this great movement? 
which uh, has agreed to follow what you want in the mighty name of Yeshua. Let me end my prayer by saying, I do not bless you and keep you. I do not make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. I do not change his face towards you and grant you and grant you shalom. Shalom. Thank you very much. Shalom. It's said that once you've been to Africa, the continent is locked in your heart forever. The deep cultural heritage is unmistakable and unchanging. The same can be said for the Middle East, where the people of Israel have passed down their traditions for centuries. But the Lemba are something completely different. This tribe, who live in Zimbabwe and South Africa, claim they are direct descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel. Is it possible they are who they say they are? Astonishingly, the facts support their miraculous oral tradition. When the nation of Israel was formally reestablished in 1948, there was the hope by some that Jews everywhere would become unified once again. After all, God is faithful to his promises to the people of Israel, specifically. I will watch over and care for Israel, and I will bring them back here again. I will build them up and not tear them down. I will plant them and not uproot them. Inspired by this prophetic promise of God, a great pilgrimage began, a journey made by Jews across the globe to mend a fracturing of people that occurred centuries ago. In the 8th century BC, as noted by historians and the Bible in 1 Kings, the Assyrian Empire conquered the northern kingdom of Israel, captured its people, and dispersed them over Assyrian territory. Historians say some were killed, many were blended into other cultures, and others fled. Thus began the tradition of the lost tribes of Israel. Lemba oral tradition passed on through generations says they came from the rabbinical tribe, the Levites. The Lemba say they fled their original home and traveled to Sena in modern day Yemen, where they became traders and craftsmen until they were forced to escape war or natural disaster. This drove the Lemba across the Red Sea to Africa. During their journey down the African continent, Tradition says the Lemba built great cities of stone. This is where science comes in. Archaeologists have verified the existence of these cities. In addition, at these stone city sites, many artifacts have been discovered. These facts are a direct tied to the oral tradition handed down by generations of Lemba. Tribes all over Africa have kept their traditions and customs, but the Lemba are like no other tribe. Strict adherence to Jewish customs have been watched over by Lemba rabbis. Despite losing their original Torah on the journey from Israel to Zimbabwe, all oral teachings and traditions have been maintained. The same kind of oral teaching described in the Old Testament. Dietary laws, including kosher standards and restrictions on meat are obeyed circumcision. Intermarriage has been strictly forbidden to preserve the culture and bloodline. Traditional rabbinical clothing is worn. In a place thousands of miles away from Israel, detached from all Jewish culture, these African Jews who call themselves original Hebrews are committed to their way of life that has been passed down generation to generation. Eventually, DNA testing advanced to the point where the Lemba's claims could be put to the scientific test. 
University of London scholar Dr. Tudor Parfit swabbed a cross-section of Lemba tribe members, and the results were astounding. The Y chromosome, passed on by many males in the population, proved to contain the Cohen modal haplotype. Among Jews, the CMH marker is most prevalent among Kohanim, or hereditary priests. In addition, this marker is one that only emanates from the Middle East. It is not found in any identifiable African roots. Even more astounding are the following stats. The CMH marker shows up in 50% of the Lemba tested. The same marker shows up only 3-5% to 5 of the time in the general Jewish population.